Friday in Frisco really did mark the most healthy Dallas Cowboys practice in, at the star of the year by far. All kinds of good news, and we'll get into that uh, with our New Year's Eve party at Fish at 6. We'll get into all the details and all the fulls, and it's all good stuff, except uh, we already told you about Quentin Bohannon, the rookie defensive tackle uh, on the COVID list Friday morning, and now, I mean just now, the Cowboys find out that Keanu Neal, uh, the starting linebacker, is also going on the COVID list. This leaves the Cowboys, of course, awfully thin Excuse me, at the linebacker position. Uh, it's raining out here. That's probably why I'm going to catch my death of cold. Uh, they are thin. Micah Parsons is there, of course. Leighton Vandrish is there, of course. And Luke Gifford is there. Now, on the practice squad is the fifth guy who's now going to have to be the fourth guy. They will call up Bond, the former Oklahoma Sooner, of course, and put him on the active roster. And then I suppose it's worth noting that uh, there are other people on the roster Kierce in particular, who can do linebacker kind of things. But uh, they, they thought they were thin, so they went and signed Devontae Bond, uh, and now they're back to being a little bit thin without Keanu Neal. Obviously, they are blessed with uh, good health in so many other ways. Tyron, Zeke, Dak, uh, Malik Hooker, Malik Turner, and uh, a surprise in a good way with Tank Lawrence today, which we'll talk about at 6 o'clock tonight. But uh, a, uh, a bite is taken out of the Cowboys' defense with Keanu, uh, Keanu Reeves. No, wait a minute. Keanu Neal not being available. Uh, of course, that's nothing compared to some of the issues that Arizona is dealing with in terms of injuries. We'll discuss that as well at Fish at 6. Join us then. Fish out.